Hi there and welcome back to the Children of Atlantis. And we're focusing ourselves in this insane Grand Admiral galaxy of Cthulhu-based life forms. On self-improvement, as you see here, our leader lifespan is gonna be improved. We're gonna get droids, robotic assault armies, and, well, shields, okay. Yeah, shields do not fit that pattern, but do you see what fits the pattern? Ganarth of Good the Darrow. He even has a custom AI assistant, and yeah, we we will treat all people that join us equal. So they're already in our leader roster. And oh, 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 oh we can improve. Let's see about this, right? Everything's gonna be good. Yeah, we have also uh, went for the nature's here. For the edict. land clearance time and time again so improved our core planets by a lot mm, we also improve this and now we're trying and trying to get to the top of this list mm, god we were once we were once at the bottom of the list and now we're starting to climb. We've taken over the hierarchy of Hyboria. Of course, the Methin Enlightened Kingdom, the Gog Assembly, and the Deros Imperium. We're nearing the Galactic Migo Consciousness and the Dominion of Yig. Ah. The Dominion of Yig? Who are they at war with? With the Deros Imperium, it seems like their fleet power is not so impressive anymore. But we are not out for an expansion through war. We want to make friends first and dominate the galaxy later. And that's what we do, as you can see here. The Cardinal of the Fifth Sun, our trusted defensive pact friends the Astani they are our subject our protectorate the I highs we have a non-aggression pact with them we could join a uh, defensive pact even who is ruling them one of the oxybraxi what <laughs> not even one of the I highs Crazy. Can you see that? Yeah. <laughs> There's 16 Oxbraxi here. One of them rules the I High Star League. We could form the, that defensive pact. It might be good. It really might. But we would get new enemies as well. The Yug and the Elder Things consciousness. So. Will we commit or not? That's the question. strong as the Yug. They're superior. That is not worrying. How strong is the Elder Things? They are also superior. That is also not that worrying. Together we may be stronger. It's form Well, there's that influence. Yeah, the influence is the reason we don't want this to happen yet. So let's continue our ways. Boris Dudnik has also leveled up. Very good. And this means uh, he could replace Ganarth of Good. And Ganarth of Good can learn more. The von Brown.
Free Thought Council. Ah, egalitarians. We have so many xenophiles now. We might even change. Egalitarianism is going back and back and back. It's being friendly to the others, more important to us. We will find out soon. Well, for once we are expanding our fleets. That's at least something. Soon we'll have the droids coming. Ooh. Construction project concluded. Diogenes has a pop. Oh, there's the pop. Let's give the pop something to do. Would that be good? I somehow doubt it. I think one more mining network might be the best. Construction project concluded. The Organist Secundus, yeah, we have one of the Zoom. We're traditional people. It'll help as well. Research concluded. And amigo, you mean it? Well then, um more physics. Finally, robots are no longer dumb and following only orders. Upgraded robotic workers. The droids have an expanded movement range equal to that of most organics. Their neural processors have also been greatly improved. We could follow this up with cross-model standardization. I think that would be a great idea. If we don't have a research agreement on that, we'll go for the standardized destroyer patterns, as they are also really good. Let's see. Yeah, that's not that good at at the moment. Hmm. Let's see. Destroyer patterns, they are good. Jose Flores is going for that. And here, Fatima Aboud to join the ship. Now, we gotta look at the species we have. Construction project concluded. We have, in theory, now droids. We should build at least one. Sun finished the construction. Very nice. They are still outdated and will be upgraded automatically. I High Star League has declared the last Dominion the rival. Hmm. I mean, that defensive pact, right? If we could only get more influence in. The dull edge is breaking out, uh, breaking us, breaking our plans. Alien friendship, indirect technology. Yeah, they, they don't want us to enlighten people. That's illogical, though, absolutely illogical. Hmm. Is not dead, which can eternal fly, and with strange events, it may even taint the sky. Mm. 
Yeah, now, now we've got minor droids. Very nice. The droids are coming. The droids are better. Much, much better. Yeah, they get a little bit more percentage bonus. And they are better overall. Uh, Storm Prime Sector. Everything's going well. Now we could definitely start to upgrade other planets as well. Like Hippocrates, Varun, Varuna. What would we get here for the land clearance? One tile only. Ah, uh, well, not that good. Um, how about... Brachium? It's 15. Let's have a look. Fifteen, seventeen, seventeen, thirteen. Ishara could maybe get something. The Ishara planets. Maybe good to expand. Especially that one. Two tiles is okay. Ooh. Did we gain physics research? Did we gain physics research just now? Yeah, one physics and I think two minerals or something like that. Really cool. So Shara Prime it is. Why aren't we expanding anything there? Hmm. We should go for the energy nexus, definitely. Energy is a necessity, and Ishara Secundus will also get the land clearance going. And why not a minor droid here? The Deros, yeah, society, there we go. Here as well. Construction project I'm getting there. Concluded. It's all getting better. Atlantis is absolutely cool. We've got a farmer robot there. And vitality boosters, where the body fails, science intervenes. Come on, we need a nice flavor text for that. Overcoming mundane uh, ailments such as cancer has led to a significant increase in leader lifespan and also shared for the common people. So, what shall we go for next? Boris Dudnik. What is your choice? Interstellar campaigns? Hmm, I don't know. The living state. That might be great. Centralized command. That's what the military wishes. Max Garrison's a military academy. I think that might be a good idea. Especially with Sauda Ndungwane on our side. <laughs> on to the Tesla, Dudnik. What will we develop now? Let's let's maybe start Hippocrates. Hippocrates, they are migrating to New Turbac. What? Where is New Turbac? Migrating away again? Construction project concluded. Sean, come on. Barnard Star Prime has finished its surface construction queue as well. Come on, please stay. Why why can't you stay? A decadent survivor here. They are really decadent. Taking the survival and then going away? 
Come on. Bundle Star Prime has finished its surface construction queue, yes, and there we go. Maybe we need to improve the conditions our people live in. Is that done here? Like, set the rights, the living standards. We could go for the academic privilege. Utopian abundance. Social welfare. Hmm. Well, not for now. Maybe later. Maybe later. We have so many minerals, though. What to do with them? We need to find something to produce with this abundance. Maybe we can trade. I don't know. A declaration of war has been announced. Oh. Great race of Yith versus the war. Overwhelming and cordial. Thankfully, we are not. We are not their enemies. Um, but with it, with it, big xenophile tendencies, we should probably really form that defensive pact. Shall we do that? We'll decide at the start of the next episode, right? Let's go for a cliffhanger and look at the blessed Xiclotl Principality some fluff. Your biomass will sustain us, child of Atlantis. That is your inevitable end. The beings from Xiclotl are tall, plant-like creatures. They have metallic grey skin, many arm tentacles and a white gaping mouth. They are highly carnivorous and dwell on the heavily forested world of Xiclotl, where they themselves are preyed on by the monstrous death wine creatures. The beings are said to be not very intelligent and highly primitive. The beings are a slave race of the insects from Shagai. And many of the Xiclotl race were taken to Earth, the small colony existing today in the Seven Valley. That is now a zone of no access for anyone but the boldest of researchers. They are overwhelming. Thank you for watching, and may Cthulhu guide your dreams. Happy gaming.